So I thought I would actually try like a weekly vlog this week and see how I got on. So I'm going to film Friday to Friday, I think. Um, maybe Friday to Thursday. Edit Friday, get it up next Saturday. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm currently in my bedroom. The clips that you've just seen at the beginning are myself just laying in bed, waking up. Um, so my mo usual morning routine is I'll wake up, go to the bathroom, come back in here, um, lay down. I like to wake up gradually um, by watching some YouTube um, or like a programme that I'm watching or something. And then after that, my routine is I will sort out Meadows Mansion down here. <laughs> um, so I need to clean that out, um, get it all ready for her for the day. She's currently in the bungalow, which is in the corridor. Um, because if I try and do this with her in it, <laughs> she goes for me. <laughs> She's like... Nye, nye. So, yeah, I'm going to um, freshen everything up for her, pop her in, and then I'll be going through to the living room um, to make myself a drink and kind of decide what I want to do for the day. Usually I'll sit and watch something with Steve um, and then we'll sort of chat and see what we fancy doing for the day. Um, both of us have been feeling a bit unwell this week um steve more so than me i just felt a bit unwell yesterday I was very very dizzy felt sick had a headache and they were the same symptoms that steve had um we did do covid tests because his parents um had been on holiday came back and tested positive um so we was like well if we've got the same symptoms as you we should really test as well so um, I bought, f well, it was meant to be five COVID tests off of Amazon for like six pounds something. And they sent me 25. So not going to run out for a while, but it's good. Both of us were clear, like really strong, negatively clear. So it's maybe just something viral, just a bug. So yeah, um, I'm going to tidy up Miss Meadow's pen. And then uh, I will show you me popping her into the mansion. So I thought I would give you a before and after shot. <laughs> this is one day of Meadow being in here. So yeah, um, I'm going to clean this all up. Um, yesterday I did a thorough, thorough clean um like obviously i clean her hay and sawdust every day but by thorough clean i mean i lifted up the baseboard i put the cage on its end i hoovered under everything and round everything and this was spotless <laughs> so this is just like one day of her causing carnage <laughs> so yeah i'll i'll do an after shot of when it's like all clean
and here's how it should look <laughs> so yesterday for some reason she did um uh, whether it was a wee or something there i don't know what it is but it's actually stained my baseboard i'm gonna give it another scrub in a second to see if i can get any more of it up but it's it kind of i don't know their their wee and stuff is like acid so <laughs> Uh, I'm going to see if I can get that up, but yeah, that's how it should look. Um, she is going to be getting some more toys. She did have a load. <laughs> uh, Dee gave her a bunch, and this is what's left. <laughs> so they were all like, these were carrots, like all wound up. And then she had some other kind of toys as well, but she's just destroyed them all. So the only one that's survived now is this one on the side here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you saw me pouring some dandelion salad into her hay. That's so she can forage for it. She loves foraging. Um, usually she'll just eat her hay, like sit in it and eat it and forage. Yes, uh, sometimes she decides to go to the bathroom in it, which is gross. And that's why I was pulling all kinds of faces. Because I'd, I'd seen that she'd done some um, cannonballs in there, as I call them. But obviously when I tipped it all out, I saw that she'd actually done some wheeze in there too. And that's why I was like, oh, that's gross. <laughs> so, yeah, that's nice and clean for her now. Um, I'm going to go grab her and give her her kibbles and then we'll see what we're doing for the day. So this is a <laughs> meadow in her bungalow. Um, so what I do is I take the drawbridge off. I put the um, bungalow next to the mansion and then she hops in. Uh, she doesn't like being carried or anything so I don't transport her by hand. Why distress her if she doesn't like it? So this bowl in here is her veggie bowl. As you can see, there's not much left. Hey, little beautiful. And this little one here is her kibble bowl, which I'm about to fill for the morning. So let's transport you. Wait a minute. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> Let mummy get you right close. Good girl. Whee! Try not to be too destructive today, Miss Moo. Let's move the bungalow out the way. And then we can say good morning. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Want some kibbles? Do you want some kibbles? Say hello, everybody. <laughs> Let me get you some kibbles. I'll put the phone down here. It's a bit too close, isn't it? I'm trying to get an angle of you. There we go. <laughs> get you some kibbles. Don't eat my phone. Mum, where's my kibbles? It's coming. Oops. Mum is not very good at this one handed, you know. I'm really not. I know, it's coming. It's coming. Yes, it's coming. <laughs> Mummy's just slow about it, that's all. There we go. Yes, I'll take my hand out. You enjoy. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. I'm just going to put a few more in there for you, if you don't bite my hand off.
funny ASMR. <laughs> Okay, so that's her sorted and ready for the day. Now I have to decide what I want to do. Hey, how beautiful. Oh, there's a good girl. Yeah. She's poking her head over the bar again. <laughs> right, Mummy's going to let you enjoy your breakfast in there. Okay. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to go and decide what to do for the day. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Do you want to come and make it and then the people of internet will see you? Yeah, I'm going to cut the audio out and put music to it, it's like a little time lapse. Yeah, I'm going to cut the audio out
and like that the day is finished <laughs> uh i don't know what time it is but we are just going to bed now it is 25 to midnight uh so i'll fill you in on what i did for the rest of the day because i forgot to record anything else so i edited and uploaded steve's vlog thank you for the lovely um comments and everything he's received on that thank you to all his new subscribers as well he really appreciates it as do i um so after that i then edited and uploaded my own video what which was my haul no it wasn't it was my completed pages video <laughs> uh for may and june so i did that um i watched an episode of walking dead with steve so i obviously didn't record that because we were just chilling together um and I, we was actually watching walking dead whilst i was editing my video so i had one ear um ear pod in listening to my video so i could edit and one free so i could watch walking dead um after that i decided to go to my desk and i started i pulled out disney coloriage to 11 and decided to do the louis page from princess and the frog because disney meg's um hashtag this month is um the film is the princess and the frog can't speak it's too late at night um so i decided to do that um whilst messaging jess and uh, jess said oh i'm gonna join you on it and she's finished hers she's just <laughs> flown through it um i was using my artex acrylic markers and my jewel ended acrylic markers um that i showed on the channel they're about eight pounds or something but I could only use a few of the colours and then the rest of them didn't match at all. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get the gouache out and mix the colours to match a bit better. So, but that's a lot more time consuming. So haven't gotten very far. Um, and then I was talking to Dee whilst finishing off one of the numbers, um, Colourful Dreams and uh we were going to start a page together in 50 i can never remember the name of it 50 woodland something scenes it's not the woodland book it's spellbound miniatures i think that rings a bell um so we were going to start a page in there together she'd picked two or three that she liked i think and she said you know show me what ones you like when when you grab your book so i made myself a drink and got settled down and everything and then she got a phone call and couldn't unfortunately couldn't come back to to color so i sat there for a little while and um whilst i was waiting for her to call back i was coloring my buddy colour with Sam, which is the Bumblebee page, which is really cute. So I picked out a colour palette. I wonder if I can show you pictures on my iPad. Did I take a picture of it? I don't think I did. I know I have a picture of the of the colour palette. My mouth is Oops. I was watching TikTok. <laughs> um So that is my colour palette for it. Um, this kind of shows you where I got up to with my paint by number. Kind of, kind of not. Can't really see what it is yet. Um, and like I say, Jess has finished hers, so... I won't share it on here because it will be in her completed pages. Um, 
I watched Germany get knocked out of the Euros, so I'm going to have to make some substitutions because I do fantasy football with uh, a bunch of friends, including Mini Rach, who's also on YouTube. Um, I do it with her, her partner, my partner, obviously, um, my other half's nephew, and... It's me, Rach, her partner, Steve, Brandon. I feel like I'm missing someone. Who am I missing? Maybe it's just the five of us this time. There's usually five or six of us doing it anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I had six German players in my team because I was convinced they were going to go all the way and win the Euros. And they got knocked out tonight. So now I'm left with half a team that I need to substitute but I've only got five substitutions and six players need to come out so one's going to have to stay in and be a void which isn't the best but I could use um, one of my um, you get like three perks that you can use throughout the tournament and one of them is 12th man which would mean I would have 11 men again instead of 10. So I could use that. Um, sorry if you don't like football and you had to listen to all that. But I'm just filling you in on what I was doing. Um, after the Germany game, we watched, well, I listened whilst painting to the France Portugal game. At Please, please, France, please get through because that's three more players on my team that I don't have spaces for to substitute. And luckily, France got through. So, woohoo! Um, what else happened? Not much, really. Obviously, I ate lunch. I didn't want to film that. You don't need to see me eating. I'm not about the whole eating asmr thing no 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 <laughs> um i mean one day i could probably show you me preparing dinner and whatnot that would be fine but not eating um so i had sandwich for dinner so nothing exciting anyway tonight um last night i had chicken rice and veg and i had some left over um, I put two spoons of curry sauce with it, which I don't do at all very often now because the onion in it sets off my IBS. Um, but I just wanted a bit of flavour. I'm so fed up with bland, boring food. So I had two spoons of curry sauce. <laughs> And mixed it into my, my veg and my rice and everything. It was divine. Um, and obviously there was like loads of curry sauce left in the can. And yes, I use a can on that occasion. Because my favourite ever curry sauce is a home pride one that you can get in a can. I'm going to put a picture up here so you can see it. This is my favourite ever curry sauce because it has sultanas and pineapple in it and mm, it's just so nice. If you cook chicken thighs in the oven, like roast them, then pour over the can of sauce and bake the sauce onto the chicken, so good. But um, I actually had mini chicken breast fillets. That I did in my multi cooker, and so I just put two spoons of the sauce in there and then let it sort of um, reduce a little bit so it was thicker. And yeah, it was divine. So Steve had that left over today, he cooked himself some fresh rice and had that. And yeah, that's pretty much what I did for the rest of. The evening, I prepared Meadow's veggies. She's now in the bungalow. I could show you. <laughs> so this is what I have to clean in the morning. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. It's been worse. 
Um, obviously, I have to clear out her hay again. Because I can see poops in that. And she's not meant to poop in the hay. But she's happy, so we'll leave her to it. But, um, yeah, she's currently chowing down on her coriander. She's really late having her veggies tonight, actually. Um, <laughs> it's probably why, why when I came in here, she followed me to one end and then she followed me to the other end. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I do have meadow free roam some days, but some days when I'm, like, busy doing things, I just like to know that she's safe and contained <laughs> um and i don't have to keep running around after her after her so yeah she's got a huge cage you can't see actually how big it is on the video but it, it takes up like half of my bedroom and this is a big bedroom <laughs> it's it's huge <laughs> so yeah so what I'm going to do now is uh, possibly watch Love Island before bed on my iPad, uh, catch up with some YouTube videos maybe and just wind down for the evening. So hopefully tomorrow I will vlog a little bit more and <laughs> um, I have a food shop coming at between half twelve and half two and it's not anything exciting it's just like a top-up shop um i've got us a nice joint of beef for sunday I'm not a huge meat lover i prefer like chicken i will eat until it comes out of my ears i love chicken um but sometimes i just crave red meat whether it means my iron is low or what i don't know but i'm craving a piece of beef so I'm going to have that on Sunday with some nice vegetables and Jersey Royal new potatoes, which are my favourite this time of year. So, yeah. Um, I think I have to pop out at some point tomorrow, which I was trying to avoid, hence getting the food shop. But, um, as it's just like a top-up from Iceland for, like, freezery bits and that, uh, they don't really do much in the way of fresh veg. And I need to get Meadows some spring greens and some coriander and maybe some more parsley. Yeah, because she's only got a little bit of parsley left. Tonight she's had coriander. No, she hasn't. Tonight she's had parsley, rocket, celery and a bit of carrot. I can only have a bit of carrot because it's uh, quite sugary for them. So she only has that twice a week. So, yeah, that's all that's happening for the rest of today. Like I said, I'm going to wind down now, watch some TV or some YouTube and go to sleep. And I will see you guys in the morning. I hope you enjoyed the first day. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Morning, everyone. So I have been awake for um, maybe an hour. I'm not sure. Um, I've been watching some TikToks, reels and whatnot. I had a look on YouTube to see if there was anything worth watching, but not really. I've pretty much watched all the ones I want to watch at the moment. Let me just pop my light on. <laughs> Whoops. The laundry bag. So, usual morning routine. <laughs> um clear out meadows pen um get it all nice and ready for her my hair's a mess so I need to brush that and i think i'm gonna do some coloring i started a body color with my friend sam last night um which is a bumblebee bumblebee page from camellia angel covers spellbound miniatures so i might do some more work on that and i also feel like doing a bit more painting of my um colour by number Disney Tiana Crocodile Louis Page thing <laughs> something like that before the um shopping gets here at about half twelve ish. 
between half 12 and half 2. Um, I'm due a new Disney book to arrive today. So when, when that comes, I will do a little flick through for you. It's not a new one, but it's new to me. So, yeah. Um, let's take you through to Steve and let him say good morning. So it's 10.37. There's a little meadow in the corridor. So this is my corridor. <laughs> it looks very yellow because of the light. So I bring you in here to hubby and he can say good morning. Say good morning to the vlog. Good morning. <laughs> what are you doing? Watching the... Uh, Your hair looks white on this. I know. Getting it's old. the light. It's the light. It makes you look I'm white just hair. getting old. <laughs> what are you watching? The uh, last episode of the Dragons. Oh, House of Dragons. Yeah. What are you doing next? I don't know. I was going to look up when the Grand Prix was for you. Yeah, Grand Prix today. It's uh, Mo not Monaco. Duh. It's Silverstone. It's in England. Woohoo! And Silverstone's not actually that far away from us, is no, it? No, it's not. It is literally. It's about an hour. An hour away from us, it's yeah. On the way to Milton Keynes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! My geography works. <laughs> Qualifying is starts at two fifteen. Woohoo! Uh, which will take us where they talk. So it takes us to about four ish. Mm -hmm. And then it's England. Oh England. yeah, England quarter final against Switzerland. I cannot see us getting through, but. Mm. And I think Mum's got my Dini boppers and our England swords. <laughs> No, not our England oh, smashing, swords. smashing swords. Oh, no. Yeah. I'll have to insert a clip from holiday um, so you guys can see what we were doing on holiday because the the match was boring. So we made our own entertainment um, with these free England banger things that we got from one of the restaurants we went to. So I will insert that clip now. <laughs> When England are playing rubbish, so you make your own entertainment. So one of the things we do from time to time um, is go through our freezer. So we have like a small chest freezer and um, Steve climbs up on the ladder <laughs> because it's actually like on top of our fridge. Um, so he will be careful. He yeah. will climb up there and sort of tell me what's in there and I will jot it down. So bear with me a second, Steve. I need to get pen and paper. Let's get some light in this living room. And this is mainly so we can just see what we've got, what meals I can work out of what's in there. I have pen, I need paper. I'm working late cause I'm a singer. Um. <laughs> Excuse the outburst of Spring the Carpenter constantly going around in my head. Printer Zoe, there's a piece of paper in the printer. <laughs> okay, let me just pop you down a second while I fold my paper. 
you de-icing, sir? Okay, paper folded. So tonight we're actually having Wagyu burgers with corn the cob, I think. Steve's just de-icing. I'm gonna come over here and pop you down so it's hands-free. Okay. Let's move these out of the way. So these are some meals that I've gotten for Steve because I don't always feel like eating every night so he can just warm these up for himself so I'm just going to adjust that angle. Bow buns. Bow buns. Plus I can't have half of this stuff because I can't have onion, garlic or anything with any flavour so... And the Wagyu burgers. Put Yay, them separate. Wagyu burgers. They're for dinner tonight, so I won't write them down. There's the buns. Just take two out. Yep. Do you want me to put two back in? Yeah, I'll just write them okay. down. Okay. Because we've got two burgers for that in here. Two times burger, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. As long as I can seal you. Yeah. <laughs> Just right, put them on the pile and then I can. Okay. Nice. Sorry about the noise. It might be a bit crinkly. Crinkly. <laughs> crinkly. Hot dogs and hot dog hot, rolls. Yeah. And they are, chi I've never seen these before, I got them from Aldi, Chinese style hot dogs. So you know like the Chinese chicken, the Chinese pork that you have on a barbecue, it's Mince. like that. Rolls. Mints. That looks very, very... It's oxygenated. Yeah, all. but I wouldn't eat that. Okay, if you want to chuck it, chuck it. Do it now. I wouldn't eat that. It's fresh. Yeah, just fish. fish. These fish fillets um, had a is it had a no cod beer bucket from Aldi are really nice. Okay. Pulled beef chili. For yeah, me. that's yours. Pizzas for you because I can't eat pizza. Oh, we're blocking the we're blocking the vlog. Two small pizzas. Ba 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 ba. Gumpets. Gumpets. Three crumpets because we had some. Crumpets. I had Biscoff on them and they were Cold like, on cop. I want some of those tonight. Oh, lost you. No, I don't know. No, no, no. Stand up. Stay. 
Uh, corn. How many corn on the cob do you want tonight? Um, I will have um two. Duh. Your filthy mind, not mine. I'm trying to get this camera to sit right. Two breast fillets. Fillets, if you're American. Two jumbo sausage. <laughs> Two salt and vinegar jumbo sausage. <laughs> Jumbo sausage. If you're in France, saucisse. Uh, two Yorkshire's for tomorrow. Two Yorkshire puddings for tomorrow. I do first make my own, but it's a faff when you don't have an oven. Two times Yorkshire pud. Half a loaf of bread. Half a loaf of bread. Whole bag of Beth tomorrow. Oh, not, they might not be tomorrow because I'm doing You're doing new jerseys. Yeah, yeah, you're doing jerseys. So, Roast pot. Full bag. One second. Bag and my that space. A uh, half bag of thick pork sausages. Richmond sausages. Okay. Anywhere near the bottom yet? Yeah, we are. Ooh. Yeah. One curry sauce. Oh. That wants to be in the bottom, really. Yeah, these and this breast. And more breasts. Yeah, they all need to be. Pop it in, they all need to be in the bottom freezer. Yeah. Chicken breasts. Oh, I'm blocking the camera again. No! 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 Right. Give me some of the big stuff and I can put it away now. Um, um Peshwari Nam. Two times pack chick in breast. Peshwari Nam? Yeah. One pack? Yeah. And half a bag of sausage rolls. Why we've got them, I do not know. I think that was from the coronation. 
Was it? Yeah. Oh my god, do you want to chuck them? Yeah, what's, yeah. The, what's the date on I don't know, I can't see. Pass it here. Keep frozen, it just says uh, best before see back of pack. Oh yeah, chop them. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, give me flat, big stuff. Okay, what would you like? Uh, anything that's I can get in flat, like the bell bone box, I can even put a base with that. All the flat stuff so I can get to it. Please? Yeah, they can go in there and I can find it. We'll need chips tonight, so... I'll put them on the top, that's what I'm going to do. Flat, dear. I'm looking for flat, but I've got to move things, dear. To get to the flat things, dear. Needs to go in the bottom freezer. Okay. So the rest needs to go in the, the bottom. Yorkshire I can put on top. Yeah, but we've got some bits coming from Iceland today, so don't bury them. Okay, we haven't buried them. Okay. Anything else? No, we need to figure out what's in the bottom freezer okay. next. That's half empty now. Or I've stacked it properly. Is it half empty or half full? How do you look at life? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see what's in this bottom one. Chicken thighs. Can you tell I like chicken? It's what I live on. When I say I pretty much live on chicken, rice and veg, I mean I pretty much live on chicken, rice and veg. Two times chicken thighs. Okay. These probably go in the top, couldn't they? Yeah, I can get them in there now. Erin. Can go in the top now. Let's go with your pasta. More chicken thighs. <laughs> don't need chicken thighs. No, you don't. Uh, should have put it with that one, really. How many is in that pack? Four, I think. Four, that one. We made them into fours. Yeah, this one's only two. It's only a two pack because you bought it for yourself. Look at the date on them because they're old. Um, April last year. All right, put them in the bin. It's, it's best before, it's not used by. They're just best before I that would date. Put don't think so? No, they say six months and that's it. Okay. Um, ice cream for you because I can't eat that. I didn't know I had any ice cream. My back's mm. killing me. 
Um, we've got Tango Lollies. Which we haven't down. touched. I've had two of them. Have you had one of them? I haven't had one of them. Have you yet. not had one of no, them? No, I've not had one of them. I thought you did. No. Some random chips that have come out of somewhere. Oh, I can go anything. One of my magnums left. These are vegan and delicious. That can go in the top. Can we use them up today? Are they the ones I don't like? Or did you use those up? Are they fries? They're fries. They're fries. Okay, yeah. they're fine then. A couple more of the Tango lollies. And then we've got open bits of some dumplings. Okay. And these can all go back in. Chunkin. Chunkin. And Mm -hmm. So you know now that all the chicken is in the bottom freezer? Yes. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. That's got to go back in. That's a big old breast, isn't it? More chicken. And another one there. And more chicken. <laughs> so he lives off chicken. I do. And then just lollies and um, curry sauce. Yep. I can put this back in the top. Right, and okay. Oh, no. Put the curry sauce on the ice cream. No, because I've got um, lollies on there. Oh, have you? All yeah. right. Okay. At I least think that's it's more stable. Right? Yep. Woohoo! Oh, job done. Uh, that's our corner of the cups for tonight. Isn't yeah. It? At least go in a bowl. Well, let me move this stuff out of your way. It's not in my way, but. Eggs can be chopped too. Are they no good now? I don't think they are. They were... <sighs> I hate throwing things away. Best before 26th of June. Uh, and I hate throwing things yeah, away as eggs well. are a dodgy one. Yeah, they're dodgy. I mean, I could faff about and put them in water to see if they stand up or down or whatever, but... <sighs> Meh. Well, that's... That's that job done. That's that job done. So I now know what's in my top freezer and my bottom freezer. I don't need to write the ice lollies down because we just take those as and when we want one. And this is everything for tonight's dinner. So it can defrost. That clip was like 20 minutes long. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't know what, what are your plans for the day? Going to do anything before the sport starts? <sighs> hmm? Um, well that doesn't look like there's anything on. I've got to get dressed and sorted for the food coming. I'm always very thirsty in the morning, and, and this is ice cold, it mm, wakes you up. This is disability sports. Alright, so, I'm going to go get Meadows pen sorted now, and then I probably record me doing some colouring of some sort, so I will see you guys soon. I need to undo these curtains as well. Yeah. <laughs>
lets a lot of light in and that does, but I don't open them mm -hmm. too much because then I lose half of the screen. Okay. Yeah. I'll check my plants. I watered them yesterday, so they're they're still fine. Yeah, they're damp. So let's deadhead that one. This plant gets deadheaded daily. That deadheads. And new ones keep growing, so who? I'll see you guys soon. I'm working on the Louis page in Clariage Mr. Tomb, Tomb 11, I think. It's going on with my sleeves. Yeah, Tomb 11. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's going to take a while because it's so like detailed. So I've just brought my paint pot in here to tip away and I thought I would update you with what's been happening so um england are through to the semi-finals in the euros shock i know so we watched that um this afternoon i had a video chat with lynn miss lynn you you guys all know miss lynn she's my lovely friend and mod Um, and then I made dinner, dinner was lovely, the heart palpitations, the heart palpitations that I'm having now aren't so lovely, don't know why I'm having them but the painting has helped calm it down a little bit, so that's something I guess. Um, 
I was browsing the internet and I think it was like a, a Facebook post or something um, an ad that came up about WH Smiths now when we were in Torquay last week um, they, their Torquay WH Smiths had a massive sale on like near enough everything was 30% to 50% off and we managed to pick up a couple of packs of Copic markers now I looked online on on WH Smiths to see if they'd got any more of the ones that we didn't get we got the pastels and the the pastels and another set I don't know what it was called um, and we got ours for £7.50 a pack now on the website they're listed for £15 a pack so whether we managed to get a price glitch in the store or not I don't know but we got them for £7.50 instead of £15 um, and it's not 15 as in like oh well they're half price so that's why because their normal price is 30 and they were reduced to 15. so um i was like oh i'll go on the website and see if they've got anything on here that they didn't have in store yeah they had stuff that they didn't have in store <laughs> we may have splurged a little bit but uh, quite a bit of what I've ordered is for a certain someone's birthday in 11 days time. <laughs> he can't, they can't see you. <laughs> He's in there going, woo. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm pleased I managed to get him some presents. I just hope he likes them. And uh, yeah, then I fancied doing some painting, so I thought I would just film myself painting and then speed it up to music and then, uh, speed it up and put it to music. So hopefully you guys liked that little montage. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now, I've washed these up is um, get Meadows veggies ready for the evening and go to bed see what's on YouTube I don't think anybody else has really uploaded anything so I've got last night's Love Island to catch up on could watch that we'll see but yeah I will probably say good night here because uh, like I said, I'm going to get Me Meadows veggies ready, get her ready for bed and get myself ready for bed. So I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, plans for tomorrow include watching the Grand Prix at some point. Is there any football tomorrow, hubby? No, no, no football tomorrow? Not until Tuesday. Not until Tuesday now. That will be whoever knocked Germany out. Spain. Spain, yep. So, you got any plans for tomorrow? Playing a game this time, I think. Play as Assassin's Creed, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Uh, I'm going to do some more painting tomorrow, I know that much. Try and get a bit more of this crocodile done, or alligator, whatever he is. So, hope everyone's well, and I will see you in the morning. Bye-bye. Afternoon, everyone. And I say afternoon because it is currently the afternoon. It is around 12.16 on Sunday. Um, I have done Miss Madam here, who's already wrecking her pen. Aren't you? Do you want to say hello? Do you say hello? Hi. Hey, baby. <laughs> So I've done her pen, she's all sorted, um, 
made myself a drink and gotten dressed because I need to pop out to Aldi. Steve's just on the phone to his mum at the moment, so I won't go in there. But I thought I would just do the morning intro. Last night, I stayed up till gone two o'clock editing the first two days part of the vlog. And it's already an hour and 12 minutes long, so... I think I need to be a bit shorter with my intro, outros and all the other stuff. Or you're going to be watching like a three hour vlog by the time uh, Friday comes, Saturday. So today I need to, like I say, pop out to Aldi to get Madam some veggies. And uh, I'll probably do like a montage of me on Steve's mobility <laughs> scooter uh, going to the shop. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. So, here is Steve. <laughs> He's um, playing Assassin's Creed at the moment. So, yeah. He's playing that. I'm going to pop to Aldi. Is there anything you need? <clears throat> um. Slash want. I've got a frog in my throat. Chalky milk. Mm -hmm. And raisins. Chocolate milk and chocolate raisins. That's the ultimate. You're such a big kid, isn't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to get ready and go. <laughs> oh my God, right, I will see you guys in a bit when I'm on the scooter. Okay, so I am by Steve's mobility scooter, as he calls it, the beast. Um, I call it Petit Pois <laughs> because of the green colour mainly but a uh, slight change of plan because it's actually looking nice-ish outside I'm going to go for a ride to B&M and Tesco's so Tesco's to get the veg B&M to see what bingo prizes I can get so maybe I'll do a little bit of filming when I get there um, I'll see if I can do a little montage on the way. <laughs> so I will speak to you guys in a minute. Hi guys. So I'm out on the beast. <laughs> Petit pois. Um, it's a gorgeous day out here. So it's nice to uh, go a little bit farther than uh, just around the corner. Sunshine. So the the route that I take to go to to B and M and whatnot is um, like a public footpath, I think. Um, you can ride bikes and stuff around here. Um, the dual carriageway runs alongside it. So where those trees, tree lines, and bushes are over there, that's the dual carriageway. I could go that way wanted to but this way is so much nicer it's like all flat pathway um so yeah i'll uh, flip the camera around and show you my route <laughs> i'm not sure how well i'll be able to do this one-handed and it might be a little bit jiggly so i'll probably speed this up to a bit of music Way. So I do have to come out at some point by the dual, ooh, by the dual carriageway. I hate this bit of road because of all the um, the tree roots are under the pavement. So ooh, yeah, I forgot about that. 
Um, so yeah, I do have to come out somewhere by the dual carriageway, but at least it cuts so much off. I go up here now and then I turn to the left when I get past all of this and I think I'll pop you away for a second because I've got some roads and traffic lights and things that I'll need to concentrate on so I will see you guys again in a minute.
so I am back from B&M and Tesco's. Um, I got a few bits and bobs for the bingo and a couple of bits that we needed like vegetables for meadow. Excuse the noise in the background, Steve is currently washing up the dinner things. Um, we've just had dinner and watched the Grand Prix. So I thought I would share with you some packages that just arrived. This one came yesterday. So I got the Art Therapy Grand Classics. Noisy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the Grand Classics by Disney. This is one of the hardback squares. And the pictures in it are really, really nice. They are double sided, but I don't mind that. I can just use my prismas and things in here. So, yeah. We love this image of the fox and the hound. He's trying not to be noisy, but in the event of trying not to be noisy, he's being more noisy. <laughs> one side I'll be back in a second. Okay. <laughs> so the first book that I got in here of course Mini Mania Volume 5. I'll pop that to one side. It's got my dress on and I don't particularly want to show that to everybody on the internet. So let's pop the rubbish in there. So yeah, Mini Mania 5. Have I coloured in 2, 3 or 4 yet? No, because I'm working my way through number 1 with the lovely Disney Megs. But yeah, let's have a look at some of the pictures in here. They seem to be getting a bit thinner. And I think it's because she's not doing duplicate images anymore. So... <laughs> they're just so cute oh there's some little scenes maybe she's seen that everyone's colouring small victories by Johanna Basford and has decided to do some uh, smaller bits and bobs in this book she may be taken inspiration from Johanna Basford we've got this one quite a few of them actually I do prefer when it's just like one image like one big image that one's a bit of a filler page mm, don't know what I think about that one yeah she's definitely taken inspiration from Johanna Basford I think that one's really cute so if you would like to see a full flip through of any of these books that I'm showing, love that. Uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do that for you. I'm looking for the little foxy, I haven't seen him yet. There's the rabbits. Oh my gosh, there's no images of the fox in here, what? Gabby, I'm disappointed. I'm going to go back through to make sure I've not missed him. This isn't my favourite edition. I like some of them, don't get me wrong. But it's not my favourite. Mm 
Abby, I absolutely love your work, but where is my fox? For fox sake. <laughs> where is my fox? There's not one picture of the fox in there. I'm so disappointed, but it's part of the collection. I will colour them. So that's Mini Mania 5. Let's see what's in this one. I already know what's in this one. It's just the one book in here. And I managed to get these. Thought that was a gift for it then. I was going to be like, mm. um, I managed to get these because I had a gift card. So when we went on the holiday, did I just throw my address? Uh, when we went on holiday, Steve got two t-shirts from my mum. My mum always spoils us. Um, she bought him two t-shirts that he wanted uh, or that he liked. He didn't ask for them. Um, and because I hadn't asked for anything, this is dirty. Because I hadn't asked you for anything. You were just jealous of me. Because I'm the favourite. He says he's the favourite. You're back to your cleaning. <laughs> I'm joking um, because I didn't ask for anything or get anything my mum got me a £20 Amazon gift card um, so yeah I also got Le Plus Belle Histoire d'Amour Le Plus Belle Histoire d'Amour um, which is another Disney book and again they are double sided but the images are really nice in here. And uh, I just want more options for the month when... I love that one. When uh, picking for Disney Meg's hashtag. And it's, it is nice to have rediscovered my love for Disney. So... Tiana's Palace. <laughs> I think um, Meg showed a few in this book that that this is this page is the reason I bought this book. I want to colour this. This is Raymond or Ray, is it Raymond? From um, The Princess and the Frog. He was my favourite character in that movie and I really want to colour this page. So... He was the reason why I chose this one. And this one I just loved the images in, like I said. So, yeah, those are the three purchases that I bought. So now I'm going to sit down and do a little bit of painting, I think. Um, I might do another sort of speed up paint to music. And I'll... painting was this quick because this painting section of the vlog actually took me about two and a half hours uh so yeah i actually didn't film any more after this clip um 
I didn't really do much after. I went and chilled in my room for a bit, watched a bit of YouTube, and then um, when Steve was going to bed, I went in and caught up on Love Island. So I just wanted to give you like an update whilst I'm editing this to let you know what happened for the rest of the day. But yeah, painting this croc alligator whatever he is certainly took some time um so yeah not a bad day all round just spritzing my um gouache there to keep them moist i have actually got one of the proper himmy gouache anti-mildew sprays coming from aliexpress so i'm glad about that but um when i get my first youtube payment um i really want to get the um there's a new himmy 112 set of gouache um it's about 60 pounds so it would be like the whole of my YouTube pennies gone, but it it will be my very first YouTube payment. So I want to spend it on something that, you know, is going to last me and something that I really want to to buy. So, yeah, I think my YouTube pennies are going to go on getting the 112 set of the Himmy Gouache. So I have disappeared out of shot here. I've just gone into the bathroom, I believe, to wash up my water pot and brushes. And then I think I come back and show you a better view of how far I've gotten with this picture. So, yeah, I think it's going to take me a few more months to to get to the... There's like, when you're earning on YouTube, because I only earn through you guys possibly watching ads, um, it's it's not a quick process, and I knew that when I, when I decided to monetize. And the reason I decided to monetize is um, for hobby money, basically. I want to put money back into the channel to you know buy more supplies so i can show you guys things and uh having a little bit of extra pocket money because that's what it is um there's a certain amount you have to reach um which is 60 pounds before they will release it into your bank um and they you they don't release it into your bank until you have hit that threshold so I'm about halfway at the moment and I monetized two or three months ago, I think. So just to give you a rough idea of how long it takes to get to 60 pounds, um, it takes a lot of hard work and, and whatnot. But like I say, the reason I do my YouTube channel is because I love what I do. I love making videos for you guys. Here I am. Um, I love making videos for you guys, I love my hobby, and I do this for my own benefit as well as others, like, I want to help you guys with your anxieties and stress, as well as getting rid of my own anxieties and stress, and I've been transparent about that since day dot, that is why I do my channel, it is for me, and it is for you. So, a little tangent there, but... Uh, so, I'm just showing here an Artex acrylic marker. And I decided to do some of the outlining of... I've forgotten the name of the croc. Alligator, whatever he is. <laughs> I decided to start doing some outlining of him. Of the places that I'd finished painting and knew I wasn't sort of going to go near with the paint so but if I go over any of these areas with gouache I'll just use the marker over the top again and 
this marker didn't bleed through, which is great. I think I do check at one point whether it is bleeding, and it's not. So I will tag Artex in this video, and I will also link below the in the description the Artex marker that I'm using in this video. I did use some of the other ones when I started this picture, um, but because the palette that is in the book, I could only use a few of them. So sadly, not enough colour choice to be able to use all of them, but if I get the other, the other um, box set at some point, which I'd like to, um, I will have more choices. So I'm going to speed up the rest of this video. I just wanted to let you guys know um, what the situation was with why I suddenly disappear and didn't end the vlog. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow, which will be Monday. So then you'll get some behind the scenes of, you know, setting up Steve's vlog, all that kind of stuff and what we get up to during the week. So take care everyone and I will see you on Monday. say what date it is but it's 9 35 in the morning um so yeah not feeling 100 percent today just a bit bleh but um starting off morning re routine as usual by uh doing miss meadows pen in fact last night i um cleaned it all out like this i cleaned it out so i've just got her trays to do which are ugh, down here so i've brought the bag in with me to dispose of that and give her fresh and then after i've done that i'm going to go to aldi to get a couple of bits i need for tonight's meal um, i need some mushrooms and some tomatoes and or passata um i'm going to use yesterday's leftover beef um and do some kind of ragu thing in the slow cooker um kind of like a bolognese but with beef instead of mince so then all i've got to do later is cook some pasta so yeah i will uh so yeah i will update you in a bit <laughs> one very clean bunny pen and she found the uh, little carrot treat thing little biscuit before a kibble <laughs> so she had a nibble on that and she was like i don't know what to do first whether to to have my kibbles my treat my foraging mix <laughs> but she settled for foraging mix so no doubt all of this will be out here later and around the side there <laughs> But you are happy bunny, so it's okay. Yeah. So 
it seems just like yesterday that I was here getting on this scooter to go out. But here I am again. So, yeah. I'm about to go to um, Aldi just to get the bits that I need. How am I meant to get out of here when someone's, whoops, someone's parked literally, I know who it is as well, parked in the middle of the blooming track. Right, oh, it looks like rain out here today. Not very nice. Hopefully I won't be too long around there. I don't need too much. I only need a couple of bits and bobs. So, yeah, it just looks a bit groggy. A bit groggy. And we're off. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I will uh, turn you around and do a little montage. <laughs>
I'm absolutely <laughs> shattered now so but dinner's on um, I now have to take the bingo prizes upstairs and put them in the bingo cupboard and then finally I'll get to sit down for 10 minutes <laughs> um, Steve's only just started his chores he's been watching TV all morning <laughs> Um, but he's just started his chores, which is um, the recycling and the rubbish. Um, but yeah, I've done the shopping. I've prepared the dinner. <laughs> and now I'm going upstairs to do the bingo prizes. Um, I'm absolutely... Today, I have good days and bad days. So... For some of you watching this you may be thinking you know like there's nothing wrong with you blah 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 remember not all illnesses are visible what you see on the outside is not what i'm feeling on the inside um i woke up this morning feeling very sick actually and when i first put the camera on earlier i was like i'm feeling a bit eh this morning and that's what i meant i woke up you know sometimes you wake up with a start and you can't get your breath and you're a bit sort of like oh, I woke up too quick I didn't wake up too quick it, that's how I wake up some mornings I just wake up feeling so sick and like I've gotten up too quick when I haven't because as you guys have seen I go to the toilet and then I get back in bed to wake up slowly and start my day that way oh, I can't even get my breath today so yeah i have good days and i have bad days and then i have some really bad days and to be honest if i carry on vlogging which i'm really enjoying it so far and i hope you guys are going to enjoy watching it you will see like if if i'm having a day where i'm just bawling out crying i'm gonna film it because that's my day-to-day -day life um you know that's some days I just want to cry, some days I'm happy, some days are just whatever. <laughs> so, um, doing this vlog has made me a little bit more productive, I would say. Um, I maybe would have had a bit more sofa time than I have been, but not that much more productive than what I usually am um, going out to the shops and stuff I am anxious when I'm in there but the journey to the shops I love I love getting out in fresh air if the weather's nice or sunny I love getting out in fresh air on Steve's scooter it gives me a little bit of freedom and time just to have quiet time um like for my head i mean I'd, i get quiet time here obviously i can just go in the other room but i mean it's just like time to clear my head out and if if you're one of these people that are very anxious like myself go out go out go for a walk go if you have a bike just jump on your bike go for a 10 minute ride somewhere it makes so much difference um especially in the summer when it's nicer weather just make the most of it because when winter comes winter's and winter's not good months for me i struggle in winter and steve's uh been convinced for years that i've got sad 
uh, seasonal affective disorder I think it is it stands for um, and even when I'm at my desk and I've got the light on above me and it's perfectly bright just by having that little side light on on my desk it makes it feel more sunnier and it just boosts my mood a little bit I don't know I don't know why but having a lamp on helps me so yeah here's hubby back from doing the recycle just talking to the vlog Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> oh I'm Hands. He's just saying he's in pain because he's done the bins and whatnot. So he's going to wash his hands and have another five minutes sit down. But this, this is, you know, all we can do. We can only do what what our bodies will allow us to do. Eventually, from like I, I don't cook like this every day. Yesterday and today are exceptions because usually um, I will just like have a sandwich or a piece of toast or something um, and Steve will, will have whatever. But the only days I cook are where I'm having the same meal too, if that makes sense. That, that's not entirely true, is it? Because sometimes I cook and just for you. Yeah. And I don't eat. Yeah, you do. So, I'm just telling them about day-to-day -day life and yeah. where it looks like I'm doing more than I usually probably do. There'll be days where I just want to sit and cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to film that too because it's normal mm. every day. It's normal everyday life. Yeah. Yeah. It is normal everyday life. So, he's absolutely shattered <sighs> now. I'm only done one bag of recycle and um a um bag and a lap tray that's broken in the <laughs> bin i need to get you a new lap tray yeah can you can you get it yeah i've got the water can you get the orange out for me please oh so yeah you can see that I'm in pain just doing little things. I was just actually talking to one of the ladies in the day centre about it. Mm. And she said, I'll be thinking of you. She's about 90. <laughs> I'll be thinking of you. Look at his hands shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pouring a drink. I'm pouring a drink. <laughs> Splashing it everywhere. Thank you. Oh. I need to sit down. Yeah, I've got dinner on. Look. Oh, it looks nice. It smells nice already. Oh, yeah. So, that's on. Yeah. Slow cook. And you can have your big bits of tomato. Yeah, if they don't disintegrate. So, I'm going to go do the bingo things now. And then I'll finally get to sit down for the day. <laughs> This is definitely helping. Nice cold drink. You want a pain patch on? Yeah, please. Um, scissors, where are they? Are they all in the rack again? I've just used one pair. Is your other one off? Yeah, that came off the other day. Where to cut? You, you usually do this, but I can't see where you cut it. Right, so basically you can see the patch is there, so you cut there. Like there? Yeah. Because there's, there's like a plastic bit as well, so I, never, I don't want to cut that bit. Yeah, I know what you mean. One pain patch. One arm. It was on the right arm the last time. You know you're right from your left. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Dory. Baby <laughs> Dory. I always say to Zoe, go left and she goes right. I'm like, what? <laughs> Keep still. 
but you know, it's clammy, so it's like do the 30. Yeah, it's not one, wanting to two, stick. Three. Thank you. All done. Oh. That should relieve my pain a bit. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to head off and do the bingo things and then decide what I want to do colouring wise today. I think I might want to start my body colour with Jess for July which is the ham picnic hamper page um I wanted to start that last night while I was watching Love Island and I was like I can't because Steve's in here so <laughs> I might uh, start that now uh, so yeah I will see you soon bye bye what you doing <laughs> what you doing huh what you doing <laughs> That's your carry case. Mummy needs to get some storage containers for all of the um your food and your hay and everything to go in so it's not sitting on my bedroom floor. And the plan is to get shelves to go up on that wall there above above Meadow's crate. And the plan is to put a couple of shelves up there because at the moment the bedroom's still a mess from the renovating, isn't it? Hey, and me and daddy are still renovating. We are. Come in. <laughs> That's cheating. What about if I rattle up? A... Oh, there you are. <laughs> you came anyway. Hi. Hey, baby. Hi. <laughs> oh, you found it. Oh, where is it? There it is. <laughs> Good girl. Drink this up. officially Tuesday yep um we didn't vlog anymore last night actually because Steve did his live stream uh we had dinner and then Steve did your live stream didn't you yeah and then I was on a video call with D in the evening and we did a page from 50 Halloween miniatures for both her hashtag and colouring biker mama's scavenger hunt. Uh, we did the prompt mouse, so that was fun. 
Um, so it is currently 20 to 4 in the afternoon and the reason why I'm only just started the vlog now is because we've had workmen in our flat all day. Steve woke me up at 8 o'clock this morning because they were due here at half 8 apparently and uh, I said to Steve, I'll, you know, don't bother setting an alarm, just wake up when they, when they come kind of thing. That's what I would do. And he's like, no, they're going to be here at half eight. They showed up at half nine. I'm like, I could have had another hour in bed. <laughs> so tomorrow they're coming back, but not till about 10. So that's better. But yeah, it's just been like, I feel like I've been confined to my flat all day. Yeah. Feels weird, it feels it? like we've been imprisoned. Yeah, we haven't been able to go anywhere or do anything. I was talking to Jess, I said it, it feels like someone's invading your home. Like, this invasion of privacy and you can't do anything because they were in my bedroom, they were in the bathroom. They were in the corridor, just out here. Um, my bookcase now has a nice layer of dust on it. Um, they were in here for part of it, weren't they? Mm. And the bad news is they're coming back tomorrow. So they're gonna be in this cupboard here, which is my craft cupboard. So not my art supply cupboard, but I have scrapbooking and diamond painting things in there as well as some of our appliances that we use in the kitchen. Um, so it's kind of a pantry cupboard come craft storage cupboard. Uh, if you can hear the TV in the background, Steve's just put on Assassin's Creed for an hour. He's gonna be live streaming again this evening. So thank you if you came and watched and chatted. We appreciate it, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, he doesn't know what he's colouring yet, do you? You haven't picked. Yeah, I've got to pick a picture from Hamburgers. Oh, yeah, you Hamburger picked the World. Hamburger World book, didn't you? So, for the last hour, I've been swatching pencils. Steve, sneak peek. Before his... I dropped that. Sneak peek before Steve's haul. He bought the Marco Renoir pencils from Timu with a discount code. So I've currently done the first page. Let me put this down. I can't do things one handed. And what is going on with this hair? And I've also done the second page. But there's still two to go. Oops, hang on a minute. there we go that's that's the second page and i started that last night because i'm currently creating a spreadsheet of everything that we have in the art supply cupboard which is out there and i'm jotting it down Let's, uh, pull it up so i'm putting the brand the medium types, whether it's pencils, paints, etc., the size that we have, and whether it's swatched or not, so that way I've got a track of what I've swatched, what I haven't. So I'm currently doing the Marco Renoirs. What else have I got on here? Um, Steve only owns three Distress Oxides, so I swatched those last night. That was pretty simple. <laughs> I've printed those out and swatched those. I've swatched my 21 Copics that I own. And I've also swatched his Derwent Chroma Flow. So they're how many Steve owns of the Chroma Flow. Uh, what else is in this wad? I think that's it actually. Yeah. So they will all go into my swatch folder when I'm finished. That needs to go back in because I was using these last night. 
so yeah not really that much happening today which is why i haven't picked up the camera let's do these poscas they're prisoners acrylic paint markers ink tents these all need cataloging back in the, the file artex and i have to swatch these which are the Sunbeam and Moonbeam Crafters Companion watercolours. So I have both of those there. I'll leave those out. And also Steve has a few tins of the Spectrum Noir Aqua Blend pencils. So those all need swatching too. In fact, I could probably add those to the list, but I don't know how many of the tins he has of those currently oh, I just I feel like I've run a marathon today and I've not done anything mm. but it's because when you do nothing you feel more tired I think mm. um, I was thinking of doing Jess's koala um, Lulu Mayo hashtag I managed to whip this one out of the corridor while they were working to, s to see if there is a koala page in here and there is but I don't feel like doing the only one that's in here so I'm going to grab out my other Lulu Mayo books and see if I can find a nice cute little koala page to do I'm not sure what medium I will use on it yet it would be pencils of some kind Let's put my clipboard down there. So, in fact, I'll, I may as well do that now with you guys. I'm going to go put this back out, grab my books, and I'll be back with you. Okay, so hopefully you can av avoid that noise or ignore that noise in the background. Um, as well as the tarot one, I own the... The big Lulu Mayo book, the Worldwide Animals or something it's called. And then I own a million magical creatures, a million cute animals, a million mermaids, a million unicorns, a million sloths, a million baby animals, which is uncolored, I think, a million llamas, in fact, Yes, it is, because it's got the washi tape on, as has the llamas. They're the only two. And a million sea creatures has got the washi on. I can't see there being koalas or anything in the sea one, but we will check anyway. I mean, there's a bunny in it, so there could well be a koala in it somewhere. You're currently fighting. <laughs> if you've got a dog and you're watching this on your TV, the dog's going to be like, huh? What? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up this part of the footage while I'm looking through. And uh, if I find any, I will show you guys them.
afternoon everybody so yesterday was a fail <laughs> i don't think i vlogged anything for wednesday at all um i wasn't feeling great um that dizziness thing that i had decided to rear its ugly head again so yeah there was that um we had bingo last night that went okay um and besides this vlog is already like two hours long so i need to try and keep these last couple of days short um so today uh we've had the cleaner in um so because steve gets like um disability allowance and and whatnot rather than you know i think some people use it on what it shouldn't be used on um whereas like his disability goes towards paying for his mobility scooter and um we we also need help with cleaning because i can't do everything <laughs> um i struggle um and i will openly openly admit that i struggle with doing everything um you've seen me cleaning a meadow's cage out that's that's non-negotiable that gets done every single day um because it needs doing and where like hoovering gets done regularly um you know the the general upkeep of the flat gets done regularly but you know there's sometimes you want a really deep clean like you just want your shower cleaned really nicely and your kitchen cleaned really nicely so there's a lady that works in a few of the flats here she just does like however long you want her to do it's 15 pounds an hour so she can do one hour two hours whatever um and steve and i spoke to each other and said do you want to give it a go and you know see see what it's like so yeah we had her in for the first time this morning and my bathroom is sparkling and my kitchen is sparkling and it's just nice it's it just makes you feel sort of it takes that weight off your shoulders i've got to do this 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 so yeah we we're gonna have her come in and just help us keep on top of everything um once a week for an hour we only have her for an hour um she was like oh i need to grab my hoover i was like you don't need to hoover we can we can hoover we can manage that i just literally want you to clean my bathroom and my kitchen and that is it and do like a bit of dusting that's it so yeah so there's that um i while she was doing that i've been editing videos so i've managed to edit and upload my coloring plans video which hopefully you'll have seen uh and i've also edited and scheduled my timu haul so this will go up live on saturday this vlog my Timu haul will go live on Sunday and then Mondays and Tuesdays I don't tend to upload because Steve's got his um, live stream. So the next upload then would probably be Wednesday, you know, that's set to change. Obviously I have my live stream on Friday but hopefully you, you guys will have, have been there with me for that if this is going up on Saturday. So um what's happening for the rest of the day steve has gone upstairs to our little coloring club he's taken up his book he was working in on his live stream this week uh hamburgers worlds inside hamburgers he's took that book up my stomach is still feeling like absolute rubbish um it's like an anxiety you know when you get like how to describe it you know when you're like waiting to hear from a job interview or I don't know how to how else to describe it than that 
like when you're really on edge about something and you feel something's going to happen and you just got that like dread feeling in the pit of your stomach it's like that so that's that's what's going on with my tummy at the moment um i'm not anxious about anything i i have nothing to be anxious about at the moment but my stomach obviously is communicating with my brain and thinks otherwise so yeah so today's list was to edit and upload my colouring plans, which I've done. To edit and schedule my Timu haul, which I've done. And the other one is to work on whips. So uh, let me show you what I plan on doing today. So I have this whip that I started on Steve's live stream the other day. I'm going to finish that. That's for colouring biker mama's um, prompts. Um, the first week was strawberry, so I'm playing catch up. So I'm going to do that. And I would also like to finish at least one other whip today. And it's Thursday today. And whips are technically, I usually do them on Wednesday. But because I was feeling rubbish yesterday, I did nothing. It was just a bleh day. So, yeah, I'm going to try and get some whips done today. I do need to, well, I say I need to pop out. I don't have to pop out. We need some hand wash and I need to get some new dusters. And I'm sure she said some, some, oh, some more of my flash power mop pads for my mop and some batteries for it because those batteries are running out. I don't have to do that today. I don't have to do that tomorrow. I can do it whenever I want to do it. But I'm like, do I want to go out, get some fresh air and see if I feel a little bit better and then come back and start working on my whips? <sighs> or do I just want to chill and start work on them now? The weather's, mm, let's pick you up and take you for a walk. The weather's okay. It's between sunny and cloudy. So, my clean kitchen look. Ah, <laughs> so nice. Uh, so, yeah, this is what the weather's like. So, it's okay. The sun keeps coming in, going out. Um, I'm still feeling headachey, and really, I should just chill. But I did that yesterday. I don't like to not do something if that makes sense because I hate being ill. Basically, it just bleh, gives me brain fog, stops me doing what I want to be doing. Um, let's move my duster and my uh, anti-back spray. <laughs> but yeah, she, she was great, the cleaner. So I think I'm going to need some more of that. There's not much in there. <laughs> um, anti-back and window lean. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I want for dinner tonight. I did say to Steve that I was thinking maybe a jacket potato with some, like, breaded chicken and beans or something, which I don't really fancy. But I don't know what I do fancy. Last night I had chicken, rice and veg, so I don't want that again. Um... I do have bits and bobs in the freezer, like I have fish. Let's see what we've got. Sorry for the extreme close-up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Steve's got his stuff. I 
I don't fancy... I look at this and I'm like, I don't fancy anything. I don't know what I want. And I hate days like that. Because uh, I usually just end up having a sandwich or a piece of toast. Which is fine. It's food. But it's it's really not good just to have a sandwich for dinner. You're not really getting much nutrients of anything. Um, so, yeah. I'll try and figure something out in this little brain of mine. Oh, I can show you something that I did get. I did get... <sighs> Poundland, and I know it's kids, but I'm a big kid, so I don't care. They have different posters in, so they've got Harry Potter, Lion King, I think there's a princess one, and another one. But I went for the Lion King one, and these are huge posters. Let's see if I can show you. £2.50 this was, and you get two posters in it. And they're single-sided, so I was like, I am attacking those with my alcohol markers. So, yeah, I got those. I was like, £2.50, you can't really grumble at that. So, yeah, I'm going to try and figure out what I want to do for the day. Um, it's Thursday, so D should be live streaming tonight. Oh, last night we did watch England in the semi-final. And yes, we got through to the final. Come on, England. Um, so, oh, we have to face Spain in the final. And I, oh, I'm i sure Spain are going to eat us alive and spit us out. <laughs> so, I, um, I can't see us. I, I hate to be pessimistic. I hate it. But I really can't see us getting through. I, I, I can't see us winning it. I think Spain will have the upper hand. So, fingers crossed we do. Fingers crossed, but I don't think we will. Um, so, yeah. Well, I've not well, wasted my day completely. I've done two videos. Um... Really, I should be trying to film another one while Steve's upstairs out the way. Maybe I'll do that. Should I do that? I don't know. Um, there is one I do want to, to film a bit of. And there's one that I'm halfway through filming. Because uh, I got interrupted trying to do it the other day. So, yeah. I'm not sure how much I'll vlog later. But, like I said, D it's Thursday, so D, Colourful Dreams, should be live streaming tonight. Um, at around 3 her time, which is about 8 our time in the UK. So, yeah. Um, Thursdays are pretty much a more chill day. We don't have anything on at night where, you know, we don't have any live... Like, me and Steve don't have a live stream... We don't have bingo, so I don't have to rush doing dinner by, you know, six o'clock or whatever. Um, I can do dinner whenever. It's usually a bit later on a Thursday, which is nice. And, um, yeah, like I say, I just chill and I usually colour on a Thursday night, up like through Dee's live stream and stuff. So I'm going to maybe see if I can knock a few whips out. But yeah, I will update guy you guys later. And I don't really have anything else to say for now. <laughs> Take care. See you later.